give us a sense of what was your level of political interest, what was your interest in politics and uh, level of engagement in, in, in the politics of the state or the nation and uh, whether the municipal, whether you were ever interested in the municipal elections in the past or kept track of them starting from there. I think Zay, uh, uh, thank you first of all for inviting me here. So, I mean, for an entrepreneur or for somebody who's actually uh, looking at starting anything in Sikkim, you know, you need to have some sort of a uh, global perspective of how things are, and politics is a part of it. For me, uh, it's not only the municipality elections, but it's also about the Biden Trump thing or some things happening in Southeast Asia. Uh, because everything matters when you really look at uh, 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 starting a business with a global perspective. You know, so for me, when coming from a design background, uh, there were many things that interested me in in the thing. Right from the electoral card design of the electoral card to the way the electoral machines are designed, the way uh, the systems of it is there. So it interests me at many different levels. But primarily, I think uh, for me as a voter, I probably have voted in like three elections so far. Assembly. Assembly elections so far. Uh, municipality, uh, not yet. Uh, purely because of, you know, we haven't had any <laughs> sense of municipality elections so far. Probably, but this time is exciting, I think. You know, I'm really looking forward to that. Yeah, we'll get to the excitement bit uh, once we are done with this round. Uh, what about you, Pinsel? Like your interest in politics, have you yeah, followed it? Yeah, personally, for me, I think I'm probably the most uh, least experienced in that field. I've always been an outdoor person uh, since uh, you know I came back from college. I was always out trekking and biking or doing something like that. So, I've always been very disconnected from politics, to be honest. Mm -hmm. and, uh, it can get pretty wild, so <laughs> suits in with your outdoor lifestyle. <laughs> yeah, but now I just uh, it's getting more interesting, and now. become really important, you know, because policy matters, policy issues start shaping how your business, you know, grows, and uh, the policies of the government start affecting your business very significantly. So, of course, I mean, uh, it's not about how interested I am, but it's also about having to be really, you know, in tune with what's happening around you now. So, yeah, I think it's a lot more interesting, and as I get pointed, the, the municipality elections are interesting this time, I think, because the candidates that are coming up. Yeah. So we are pretty excited. Maybe we'll get into that a little <laughs> later. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, and would it be fair to say, Naresh, that, I mean, because like you're a friend and I've like kind of seen things, so that you were interested in a bit of the activism also that was happening at one time, right, a few years back, and uh, which clearly did not leave a very good taste <laughs> at that time when it happened. So yeah. So your level of yeah, politics, like, it always affects you at some point. I, uh, first of all, thank you very much for inviting uh, the three of us here. Uh, to Thanks to you, Emma, and uh, Summit Times. I think what you're doing is uh, really wonderful, uh, getting, you know, different stakeholders and people from different walks of life having their take on the present municipal elections. Uh, for me, uh, yeah, I have, uh, I do follow politics very deeply. In fact, I have a graduate degree in political science and uh, also studied law and uh, practiced uh, uh, briefly you know, uh, for a while after college uh, and also uh, got into a bit of activism, uh, especially uh, related to the Heidel projects. Uh, uh, I think this was around... Uh, a while uh, back, yeah, yes. it was quite a while back, uh, when our friends from Zongu sat on a yes. strike, you know. So that was my first taste of it, but uh, the way, you know, the, the turn it took, you know. But uh, yeah, Apart from that, I uh, got into entrepreneurship and uh, uh, devoted most of my time, uh, you know, concentrating on that, trying to be an entrepreneur. Because I think for your own little place, uh, it's only when entrepreneurs come and uh, you know start doing their own thing that we can make this place much better. So, I mean, there's already enough people in the government services, the bureaucracy. So, I think it's time like more people venture out into other things and. Uh, that's how we can make uh, Sikkim definitely a much better place. And uh, yeah, definitely uh, the policies of the government, uh, whether it's uh, local, municipal, or at the state, uh, we are 
bureaucracy level, some way or the other, it will have the good policies do like, and the bad policies both affect us, right? You know, yeah, somewhere. yeah. You know, I mean, like uh, it was very sporting of all three of you to accept this invitation to be here, and um, but people will also notice the makeup of this uh, of this panel as being very young, and obviously people who have engaged because. Uh, I, and I like your comments on this before we get on to, get on to other topics is you see like the traditional idea of a business person of an entrepreneur was you don't speak up on political matters right you just lay low go about your business keep everyone happy so and we didn't really brief you on what we're going to talk about right I could just bring surprises on you but uh, do you think the times have changed or is it a conscious decision that you all make that I mean, it would be fine for us to comment on politics, uh, to have an opinion and be vocal about it. Like, all of you must be active on social media as well with your comments and uh, observations. So, uh, do you think the times have changed or is it a conscious decision that you all took, Kia, we just have to push the boundaries? Uh, definitely, yeah, you have to draw a line somewhere because, uh, but I think due to social media and other forms of, uh, you know, uh, the other forms here, yeah, I think people can uh, easily express themselves, but at the end, it's about uh, where you draw the line, uh, you know, because at the end, you, uh, as an entrepreneur, you uh, you've got a business to run, and you don't want to get uh, too much negative feedback, attention, what attention, <laughs> what you've said. But uh, at the same time, I think Sikkim being a small place, most people are actually uh, pretty uh, well informed politically, you know. So it depends from you know uh, each like. Kind of yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, I, I, I mean, I, I like to contest that. I mean, like, uh, I don't think people are so well informed politically as they are, like, clued into the, let's say, the gossip point, and they belong to political camps. I mean, it's, it keeps yeah. them political, but uh, that's still an argument. Because I mean, I'll be frank with you. We reached out to a lot of people. We thought entrepreneurs, businessmen, urban area, urban issues. They like everyone will just jump at the opportunity to talk about things that they would want done better. And uh, many people, I mean, many people were just camera shy, but many of them were also hesitant to be seen on a platform like this where they might end up saying something that uh, could harm them. Well, what's your take on that? Well, um, to be honest, Sakya, I think it's, it's important, like, uh, like Narishtha mentioned, you know, we have to be aware of what's happening around us. And again, in the age of social media, there's a lot of armchair stuff that's happening, right? You sit back in one corner and you comment. But Personally, I've always believed that, you know, whatever you speak should also be put into action. So if you have an opinion and if you say there's something wrong, uh, it's not just about saying it's wrong. You know, you've got to go and make something out of it. So hence, also, like, as an entrepreneur, we have to draw a line, like he mentioned. Uh, because everything that we do, uh, you know, it's affecting jobs. It's affecting, you know, the people that are working with you, for you. So a certain level of, uh, I think, clarity is always important know that uh, you can have your political views but you know what I'm trying to get at is uh, as an entrepreneur we have a lot of clarity in certain things that we want to do and a lot of decisions are black and white for us right but when you have the political spectrum coming into things things are always gray so personally it's quite an interesting mix because when you're trying to maneuver your way around getting things done it's never black and white and like I mentioned earlier, when you're growing and you're becoming a larger entity, let's say, or you're having more people working together, then uh, you have to find a way of balancing things out. Uh, your business decisions are clear. It's black or it's white. But you have to work with a larger, larger environment. That is the political sphere. So I think it's something that you cannot escape. right? But I think it's also something very important that you should be engaged in. Because if tomorrow the wrong decisions are made or wrong issues are brought up, then we can't sit back and say that, oh, this should have been that. Mm -hmm. That's a very, um, I mean, that's well, way too convenient. Yeah. At the level of a citizen. Yeah, as, 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 I, I think, required. yeah, as a citizen and as an entrepreneur too, right? I mean, because yeah. I, I don't think there's too much of a difference in that anyway. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I feel that uh, that's what I was trying to get at, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so now? I think uh, in, 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 in your previous, the first, first episode, episode, you know, when uh, Mr. Kalash was, was uh, talking about <coughs> some of the issues. I think there's something that he said which really struck me, which is that he said that, you know, democracy is a work in progress. And I think it is like that, you know, if you really see how in today's time why entrepreneurs should really come out or 
people from all sectors should really come out and talk about politics and embrace politics in, in a manner of, you know, when say stakeholders, we all stakeholders, we make policies, we have to help the government make policies, good policies. So now we cannot, like, you know, say, you know, separate from this whole, uh, you know, process of policy making. Because now, if you see the next five years or ten years, will be the, you know, there'll be entrepreneurs everywhere. You know, and, and that's where we really need to, entrepreneurs really need to come out and help now in, the, in terms of building that ecosystem for the first generation entrepreneurs. Mostly all of us are first generation entrepreneurs. We are probably going to be the ones who are said that probably, you know, okay, in our family, we are the first guys who said no to a government job. You know, and we are sitting there and creating more employment because entrepreneurship is really not about self-employment, it's about creating employment. So in that kind of a system, if we as entrepreneurs really don't come and engage with the government, mm -hmm. you know, in, 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 the, in the whole process of agreement and disagreement, I don't think you will have very sound policies, you know, which will benefit the, the, the entire uh, entrepreneurial ecosystem. Yes, participating in the whole discourse. Yeah, discourse. yeah. And I also, the other thing is also that, you know, since this time, although you, I know you'll touch about this later, but it's to do with, you know, why entrepreneurs are coming up now. It's also, since this is an independent, uh, party-less kind of thing, and it's a thing of independent candidates, but it's a thing also of independent voters. You know, as voters, we are also, we are, we are also independent in that way. You know, we are not saying, okay, because we can very, like you said, like in the previous, we can very say, oh, I didn't know you were from, <laughs> thing, you know, I guess this vote, whatever. So it, it basically is a very interesting, I wouldn't say there are issues with the whole thing right now, mm. but I think it's a great start. 